Let's go, guys, let's go! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this prom look right here, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit obsessed with. I know that a lot of you guys have got prom coming up soon because you've just finished your exams, so I thought that this video would be helpful. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a prom makeup look. Um, even if you've had your prom or if you're not going to prom, then this is just a really nice kind of like glam makeup look for any sort of special occasion if you've got like a summer wedding if you've got like a party to go to just anything in general pretty much and today's video is actually in collaboration with beauty bay which is so exciting you guys know how much i talk about beauty bay on my channel i love them so much um it's basically if you didn't already know a beauty website where they sell loads of different brands like anastasia morphe la splash la girl they've got tons of different brands on there and some brands that are kind of more difficult to get hold of in the uk so yeah I'm super excited to be working with them and I'm going to be working with them over the next couple of months which is so cool and thank you beauty babe you guys are the best you know I love ya <laughs> also there is a little competition for you guys which is always good who doesn't love a giveaway if you guys want to be in for a chance of winning the full prom bundle all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to beauty bay's channel i will leave it linked down below and then leave a comment down below saying that you want to be entered and that is pretty much it and the competition is going to be open for one week as this video is live and let's just get on to the tutorial because i'm sure that's why you're all here right <laughs> i feel like i look like i'm naked right now i can assure you guys i am not naked i'm wearing a strappy top i thought i'd wear something a little bit different to my normal like t-shirt you know, seeing as though this is a prom tutorial. So I have a whole box of stuff here. Some of the stuff I've tried already and absolutely love. Other stuff I haven't tried yet, but I've been wanting to try for ages. I tried to pick like a nice mixture of brands just so that we've got like some different things going on here. So for my primer, I'm using this Holika Holika Holly Pop Blur Cream. And I went for this one because it was quite affordable. I think it was about eight pounds. I'm pretty sure it's a Korean brand and they do some other really good bits as well. And I've heard a lot of good things about them. I haven't heard specifically about this primer, but we're gonna give it a try. I was expecting it to be like one of those silicone primers, you know, but it's like a kind of creamy primer. My first tip for prom makeup is if you don't normally wear primer, I would definitely recommend wearing one because it does help your makeup to kind of stay on a little bit longer and also it helps your foundation go on a bit smoother as well and obviously on prom you want to be looking like your very best so primer definitely helps with that also if you see glitter on my face it's because i was doing like a festival makeup look earlier and it kind of you know what glitter is like it doesn't come off for like five years that primer basically just feels like it's moisturized my face it's left it a little bit tacky and i feel like it's made my skin like a little bit more matte as well, unless that's just me. Hmm, very nice. So for foundation, I wanted to give you guys some affordable recommendations. I have two different foundations here, both by the brand LA Girl. I've spoken about both of these quite a few times on my channel before. If you have oily skin like me, I would definitely recommend the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Foundation. Um, I have two different shades here. The first one is in ivory, and then the second one is in beige. I normally kind of mix these two together to get my perfect shade, because this is a little bit too pale for me at the moment. And then if you have more dry, skin then I would definitely recommend the LA Girl Pro Coverage um, foundation. This one came out first. I think both of these are around 10 or 11 pounds. This one is the shade Porcelain and then they also have a white mixer as well which is just really good in general if you want to mix it with other foundations. But they both have really nice coverage um, and they both have no SPF in so I don't think they're going to give you flashback. Um, I just really like both of these foundations so I am going to go with the matte one today just because you guys know it. I don't even need to say it again. You know why I'm using this one. <laughs> also, if you do have really pale skin, this shade Ivory is really, really good, but I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of the shade Beige. You could mix the two shades together, like on the back of your hand or something, but I'm just lazy and I put it straight on my face. <laughs> Okay, so that is my foundation done. It's probably easier to mix it on your hand because that way you get a bit more of like an even color all over your face. But I mean, as long as you blend it out, you know, enough. I think, I think, I think it's looking okay. Then for concealer, I haven't used this one before, but I've always wanted to try this brand because I've heard about it. This is the Miss Lynn Concealer in the shade Porcelain. That's like another thing that I just love about Beauty Bay in general is they have a lot of brands that are slightly more difficult to get hold of, um, like brands from different countries. Oh, you know what? I quite like that concealer. I'm just going to put a bit around my nose as well, and then just on any blemishes. 
Then for my powder, I'm using one that comes in a very fancy packaging. This is the brand Nablar. They've also got a concealer, which I really am interested to try as well. This is the Close Up Baking and Setting Powder, and this is just in translucent. Comes in a really cute little box. The packaging is adorable. It's just pink. And then it's just a loose powder. I love trying. I love trying loose powders because I just feel like they set my makeup in place a lot better. So I'm just gonna tip some of this. <gasps> <gasps> Woo! And I'm just using a small brush to sit under my eyes first because I find that my eyes are the first place that's gonna crease. And then my small lines. Oh, I just realized I've got loose powder all over my black top. Maybe if you're going to prom, I would recommend doing your makeup in your dressing gown and then putting your dress on because you don't wanna end up like me right now. Then I'm just using a big brush to just set all over my face. But I actually quite like this one. It's made my skin look really smooth and it hasn't got that weird like, chalky feeling. Then for my brows, I'm using the LA Splash Ultra Defined Brows Pomade. I used this in a video the other day actually and it's in the shade Hydrangea Taupe. It's gonna be really long lasting for prom and I would definitely recommend if you guys don't fill in your eyebrows for prom, um, like if you don't normally, I would definitely recommend doing it for prom, even if it's just like a little bit. Sometimes in flash photos, your eyebrows can kind of like disappear a bit, so. But if you're looking for a good brow pomade, I would definitely recommend this one. And again, I think it's about 11 pounds. If you are gonna fill in your brows for prom and you've never done it before, I would definitely also recommend practicing beforehand. Okay, something super exciting for my contour and bronzer and highlight actually. I'm using the Morphe 8L Lo-Fi Scoped, Sco eh, what? <laughs> Lo-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Palette. I've seen so many American YouTubers rave about this. Um, Morphe is another one of the brands that's on Beauty Bay, obviously. And they've got like their brushes, their palettes, and this, which is a pretty recent release. It's a contour palette and bronzing palette and highlighter palette in one. And then it's also got a freaking huge mirror here as well. I also like the look of this really pale bronzer because that is a bit of me. So for my contour, I'm gonna mix the two shades Literati and Donut, which are like these two down here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go in with the lighter shade to do my bronzer. I might mix in a bit of the darker one in a minute as well. To just bronze up around my hairline and contour my cheeks a bit because again, in flash photography, sometimes your face can come out looking a little bit flat. So it's good to do like a, just a little bit of contouring and bronzing. You know what, I am really liking that. And for my blush, I'm using another brand, which I think is an American brand. Oh yeah, it literally says made in the USA on the front. This is called Jordana. And again, I've heard so much about this brand from like OG YouTubers. This is the Tawny Beige Blush Powder and it looks like this. And again, it was really affordable as well. I think it was maybe around six pounds. That is such a gorgeous, natural blush color. Okay, and then I'm going back into my Morphe palette and I think for highlighter, I'm gonna use a combination of this shade and maybe a little bit of this one as well. Oh, these highlighters look so nice. Yes, that is so beautiful. Okay. Okay. The places that I always highlight are my cheekbones, my brow bone, my nose, and then also my cupid's bow. It probably seems like a really random order, but I'm actually gonna do my lips next because I feel like my lips are looking really dry. For my lips, I'm using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. You guys don't understand that. <laughs> You guys don't understand how long I wanted to try this color. Um, Jeffree Star lipsticks, liquid lipsticks in general, are my favorite formula ever. Definitely would recommend them for prom because they feel super comfortable and lightweight, but at the same time, they're really pigmented and long lasting. So if you're like eating and drinking at prom, this is gonna last through that as well. And the shade Mannequin just looks beautiful. It's kind of like a lighter version of my all time favorite, which is Celebrity Skin. Oh, where has this color been on my life? You know what, I didn't buy this for the longest time because I thought it was gonna be too light. I mean, I don't mean to get ahead of myself, but I feel like this could potentially become my favorite lipstick of all time. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette. And this is from her own brand. I have literally been wanting to try this 
since it came out and I thought it looked like the most beautiful prom palette um, because it's all kind of like neutrals and like rose gold and just like champagne sort of colours so if you want a look that's pretty much going to go with every dress. So I'm starting with the shade Streaking which is this one here and I'm just going to put this through my crease. Oh okay, hello pigment. That came out a lot more peachy than I thought it would. Okay, that's a really nice just basic transition shade. <gasps> oh my god, these look beautiful. Ah! Let's go for a bit of the shade called Bear, which is this kind of peachy colour over here. Oh, that is beautiful. Whoa, these are so pigmented. So I'm just taking this shade down here, which is called Reveal. It's just like a matte, cool brown. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corners. And then I'm also blending that through my crease a little bit as well. Then I'm taking the shade Butt Naked, which is this one right here. And again, I'm just gonna put that on my outer corner. And I'm also bringing that through my crease. And then I'm taking my blending brush. And then I'm taking a little bit of the shade called Nakey Nakey, which is the dark matte brown. And I'm literally just focusing this on my outer corners. So basically, if you're new to eyeshadow, what I would suggest doing is start with a light matte colour and put that through your crease and then basically just keep on building the colours, getting slowly darker and darker and each time you put on a darker shade, use a clean fluffy blending brush to blend it out so that you get a nice kind of smooth gradient between the shades. Okay, so next I'm just going to run a little bit of the shade called Butt Naked just along my lower lash line to just kind of define my eyes a little bit more. And then again, I'm taking a tiny bit of the shade Nakey Nakey, which is the darker brown. I'm just gonna put that on the outer half of my lower lash line. She has got some beautiful shimmer shades in here. Some of them are kind of like foiled shades and others are just kind of normal shimmers. I'm also gonna be using a bit of glitter. This one is by LA Splash and it's in the shade Blushing Bride, which I just thought that, you know, bridal makeup and prom makeup is kind of similar because, well, I mean, you could do whatever you want for either, but I mean, I feel like a lot of people just like to go for something pretty neutral, and this glitter is just a kind of really pretty light pink colour. I was going to do a cut crease, but then I thought that for prom, like, you might not want to worry about having to do a cut crease, because I know that it's quite difficult to get it even, and especially if you haven't practiced that much, then it could be a little bit stressful, so I thought to make this as stress-free as possible, it's probably just the easiest thing to put on a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm using the shade Uncover, which is this one here. So I'm going to put the eyeshadow on as my base. Ooh. And I'm just putting this all over my eyelid. That shade is so pretty. And then I'm going to go back in with my brush that had a little bit of the darker brown on it. And I'm just going to blend over those edges. Then you could definitely just leave it there for the eyeshadow, but I am just gonna add a little bit of glitter because I cannot help myself. So I'm just using a little bit of glitter glue and I'm just gonna place that on my lid where I want the glitter. I'm gonna put the glitter pretty much just over that eyeshadow and I know that you'll probably think that it's a little bit pointless for me to do the eyeshadow in the first place, but just in case you guys aren't confident to use glitter, then I just wanted to show you what the eyeshadow looked like. Oh my god, look at that. How pretty is this glitter? I'm actually in love with it, it looks so nice. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Zoeva Cat Eye Pen in Blackest Black. So this is what it looks like and it's a really skinny black felt tip. You don't have to do a liquid liner for prom, but I feel like it will just tie this look together really nicely. Okay, so next for my lashes, I'm using the Milani Big and Bigger Lashes Maximum Volume Mascara, which looks like this in the packet. And if you feel confident enough to wear lashes, then you can definitely do that. But again, if you don't feel comfortable wearing lashes, that is completely fine. But I am gonna use these ones today, which are the Violet Voss Lashes in... What are the name? Just slaying, apparently, and they look like this. That is a big brush. <laughs> and then I will do my lashes after. Somehow, on this eye, I'm missing like two halves of my eyelashes, just like in this little gap here, and I don't actually understand. But this mascara is actually working 
pretty nicely. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly stick my lashes on off camera because I'm really not the best at putting fake lashes on. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like. They are so pretty and kind of like, I don't know how to describe them. They're kind of like spiky, but in like a good way. So to finish everything off, I'm using a setting spray, which is another thing that I would really recommend for prom because again, it's just gonna like help your makeup last a little bit longer. This one is the Skindinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. I have heard so much about this, but I've never actually tried it, so. I had to keep you guys posted on how it works, but you basically just shake it up, spray it all over your face, and then you're good to go. Oh, okay, my lap is now soaking wet, and so is my remote for my camera. <laughs> Oopsies. Makeup that's really neutral like this, but just with a bit of glitter is pretty much gonna go with every single dress because it's not like too strong of one color, if you get what I mean. So I feel like just keeping it nude is, oh, oh my God, I love this so much. Okay, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, I will leave the Beauty Bay website linked down below and their YouTube channel as well. So make sure you enter that competition because who doesn't want to win some free makeup, right? If you are going to prom this year, I hope you have an amazing time. Don't stress too much about your makeup. Just have loads of fun with your friends. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.